in the last video you guys we got our footers finally poured and i'm really excited about how they turned out it was a good experience and so today we're going to actually take all the boards off all the support and see how they look after all that's done we're going to start by taking these supports for the rebar check this out Bang. man that stuff is in there good taking these off julie and Brittany went around and they put this tape on every screw head so in case we got um, cement in them, we can still get the screws out. Then we'll take the forms off the side. Maybe we should do it together. <laughs> All right, Jules. Go Ooh. ahead and... Ooh. There we go. Cool, look at that. Hey, not Sweet. bad. Not bad. Look at that. That didn't come out too bad. We got it. That's pretty high, but. No, that's not bad at all, really. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, that that is cool. Have to be knocked down. Then. Well, I mean, the wood's gonna go here, so that'll be. That won't be affecting oh, yeah. the. Yeah. Okay. That won't be affecting it. And so you can see this one here is leaning a little bit, but later in a couple more days or so, we'll just let it sit like this, and then we can just bend this up straight. All right. Shouldn't be a problem. It doesn't actually need to even go straight, but if we want to be particular OCDE, right, we can make it stand up straight. But it doesn't really matter. If we get any weird stuff going around here, I'll show you it, okay? If not, it'll just be the time lapse. First step, first step done, guys. Check them out. Huh? Looks good, huh? They all pretty much look like that. If there is a little bit of a ridge, I just took my boot and went over it and got off quite a bit of it. But later, when we put the um, the forms down, if there is a high spot, I have a special grinding wheel that we can take and grind down that high spot. Okay. So it's looking good, huh? I'm really thankful that we put that tape, that little bit of tape over the screw heads because that, I think that saved us. There was one that a lot of the concrete got in and made it really hard to get up, um, but the other ones were all protected. So that took a little bit of time to actually do, but I'm really thankful that we did it. This has saved us a lot of work. <laughs> Let's see if we can get these forms off. Some of the supports for the rebar were a little difficult to get up. Um, I'm kind of concerned that maybe the forms are going to be hard. Let's find out. There we go. Go, let's go this way. No, let's go this way. This way looks fairly easy and so mm -hmm. and short, so we can give it a good test. And it's actually in the shade still. That's true. <laughs> Why not work in the shade when we can? Yeah. Show me, pull these out if I can. Yeah, try. Yeah, give them a good yank <laughs> there <Got> you go <laughs> this is coming loose already yeah it's huh i noticed that too it. it's like separated that's good we didn't put anything on the forms i know like some people put linseed oil or diesel or use motor oil or something like that but we didn't put anything on them just water we wet them down before we poured and then Hope for the best. Yeah, we didn't really wet a whole lot either. Yeah. It was a hot day too when when we were doing it. That one doesn't want to come out, huh? I don't want to break it. Oh, oh busted it off. Wait, not yet. Not yet. Oh, part of it. Part Termite of it. food. You don't really want to be leaving wood around your footers in the immediate construction zone because that turns into termite food and they can find your way into your house a lot faster that way. There we go. Perfect. Whole. This one's whole. No termite food. <laughs> but you know, with all of the work that we've been doing, pulling stumps, pulling old rotten stumps, we actually haven't found, we haven't seen any termites yet, which is good. <laughs> yeah, ants, carpenter ants. There's been a lot of carpenter ants, but this one's gonna be awkward because it's oh, so, so short, far huh? down in there. It's true. I don't think I can get that one. Okay, let me try. Oh, oh boy. 
Yeah, that one's gonna be hard. This one's not in very far. Wow, look, I'm moving all of this Good. cement when I push it. See that? Yep. Huh. That's funny. Whew. Perfect. Okay, next side. No, let's just, yeah, um, can you get into there to get the screws out of the end? And then let's pop this one off. Except for this one here, I don't know what we're gonna do. It's in there, man. <gasps> I think I need mm. you to do this. You think I need me? really awkward angle. I need okay. you. <laughs> I need him. <laughs> See your mighty man, mighty man powers. How do we get it in there? There wasn't a lot of space, like on this side of the building with the form, so Marty had to put the <laughs> drill in awkward angles. <laughs> go perfect got it is there only one yeah nice. pretty sure yep i think so good job thank you <laughs> all right let's try and see if we can't get this one out here put a screw in there and just try to see if we can't pull with this <laughs> nope that didn't work huh okay it's in there really far yeah for yeah way far Let's try, um... Let's see if we can't... There we go. Mm, perfect. And I don't know how that's gonna work for the whole thing, but... Maybe if we get it started... It'll come out now. Maybe. It'll come out, maybe. Looks pretty loose now. Yeah. Looks like it's getting there, huh? There nice. we go. Wow. Woo. Good trick. There's a trick for you. <laughs> Did I know that trick before? No. You just made it up? I just made it up. It's called, wow, this guy behind you is amazing. It's called the nail puller trick. All right, let's see if we can get this guy off, huh? Ooh, Ooh wow. One hit from the shoe. What do you think shoe. it looks like under there? I bet it's nice and smooth and beautiful. Okay. I'm not going to take it all off yet. I want to loosen it up. Okay. So then we can have like a reveal. Okay. <laughs> I'm so excited it came off oh. that easy. Yeah. Okay, you ready? <sighs> I'm so nervous. Not really. Okay. Big reveal. Ta-da! Oh, look at that, man. Look wow. That, man. that looks so good. Huh. All of the jiggling and everything. That looks good. Really worked nicely. It looks good. I like it. We built the sidewalk. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, maybe, is that a little bit of a void right there? But I don't think so. Hopefully they will all come off that easy. We will see. Put your back, jump back into the time lapse. If anything strange happens, I'll be sure to show you. These forms, man, they just popped right off. As soon as we got the screws out and, uh, you know, the stakes up. Look at that. I, have been, I haven't done anything to that. Like, it's barely even stuck on there. The most is, of course, on top here. But I think hitting that with a hammer will bust it off. That's awesome. I was hoping they weren't going to be too stuck. There was one that was difficult, but not because it was stuck to the cement it was because we built it just a little bit off and so it was stuck in this pocket here but we got it and it was up so it's good we got these right here to take apart right where we uh join them together and then we'll just stack them up over here we're gonna leave the cement that's on there we'll give it to the kids to clean up later they're gonna need a job when they get home and that's something that they can do really good um so we'll get them to clean that up wow i mean it's going good we didn't take that one apart. What one? Oh, you're right. So we can do that one. Why don't we do that one when we do the other two here? Okay. So what we got to do is we got to go to Home Depot. We got to get material for the forms for our stem wall. And we've got to get um, some concrete for these last little two right here because we didn't have enough. Um, but that's like probably less than a tenth of a yard, I bet. So it'll just be three or four sacks of cement probably there. Jules is taking them apart. Mix that by hand, right? Huh? 
We gotta mix that one by hand then. Yeah, I will just mix it by hand. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, we have a we have a cement mix. We haven't tried it yet. My dad gave it to us, and I think he said he got it at a yard sale, and it worked when he got it. So we'll see. We might we might try using that, but it's such a little bit. We might just do it in the wheelbarrow. What do you guys think? Test out the cement mixer or do it in the wheelbarrow. There's a pole right up there. Let me know. Jules says test out the cement mixer. I think it'd be cool to see it work. <laughs> Let's get back to work. We'll see how things go today. You know what else would be really cool to get done today? Get the first row of rebar all the way around tied into these. The footers have turned out beautifully, man. Look at that. We got it all kind of smoothed out. It's roughly smoothed out in here. We'll get it a little bit better later. We still got to get the concrete for these two. Went to town today to get the wood for our forms. Forgot the concrete. So we are uh, have to do that tomorrow. We got a lot of the wood for our forms here or roughly a little bit more than half. We'll go back and we'll get the rest tomorrow. But we're using two by tens. Right? These are two by 10 by 12, two by 10 by 10 and two by 10 by eights. Might be thinking, man, why are you using two by tens? Aren't those expensive? Yeah, they are expensive, right? That's like uh, all of it together, not including this plus 30 more, 30 more, 32 more, two by 10 by 12s was like 800 and some odd dollars, um, which yeah, that's expensive, but it's not going to waste. These things are gonna be actually used for our floor joists. Right, so our floor joists will sit mm, roughly right about here, about that high. Mm, yeah, right about here. And go over here to a beam that will be connected here, supported there, supported there, supported there, and supported there. And then those two by tens, after we use them for the forms, we'll take it all apart, and then we'll use them for the floor joists so they're not actually being wasted. Basically, free forms. We're gonna have to cut a few of them, but there's some places where we're gonna need to use some blocking and things like that. So really, no waste on our forms. So it's kind of like free forms. And but today guys, we're going to be starting to form up the stem walls. Exciting. We got a little bit of work to do this morning and then Jules gets to go to um, ladies Bible class mm -hmm. at the Sandpoint Church of Christ here in town. And while we're in town, we're also going to pick up the remainder of the lumber that we've already paid for and didn't bring home yesterday. They are heavy. <laughs> That's right. And we forgot to get the cement Ooh, right, right there for the... Uh, other two, I guess you call them little footers for the posts that are going to hold up the beam that goes down the center of the house. So we got to go to town. Yeah, we got to go to town, get some two by fours, things like that. But before we do, we're going to straighten out um, our rebar that was leaning over now that the cement is cured well enough. And we're also going to connect rebar along it. Jules? Yeah. Can you straighten out a rebar? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'll look here uh -huh. and I'll tell you which way to go with them. Okay, just push it out. This way? Yep, just lead, just like hold it and just like lean on it. You'll hear it go, it'll go. More. Did it do anything? No, you gotta give it some, give it some muscle. Up high. Up high? Yeah, it'll give you more leverage. There you go, whoa. Hey. That's good, perfect. <laughs> okay, go, um, go two down. That one needs to come in. Okay. A little bit more. It's good. So we're just gonna continue to go around the house doing like that. Um, you definitely don't wanna fall on one of these things. I stumbled yesterday, remember that Jules? Yeah. And almost fell on one of these. I mean, that could literally kill you. That's why they make those little orange cups they go on top with like sticks on there so in case somebody does fall on them, they don't get impaled. We don't have those. We're living life on the edge. Tux, what are you doing, buddy? Huh? What are you doing, buddy? You gonna jump up there? Man, you're gonna hit your head or your back on that thing. I'm kind of hesitant. Come here, I'll help you. He's got sleepy boogers in his ass. There you go, good boy. He's a lumber dog. You guys ever seen one of these bad boys before? I've seen them, 
but never used one. So basically, this is a grinder for cement. That's what we're gonna use it for anyway. Let's check it out. All right, so push the button in right here to lock the lock the grinder. Then you just screw it on there, man. All right, we should be ready to go. We are gonna grind from the power of the sun today. No generators. So dramatic. Hmm. <laughs> I think it'll be good. Ear protection. Yeah, you know, Sally. Got my ear protection going in here. It's dirty, is that okay? They are awfully dirty. I keep them in my watch pocket. That way, whenever I need them, I always got a couple earplugs in there. If I'm yelling now, sorry. You're yelling. <laughs> Terminator. We're gonna try to grind down these little high spots here on the footer. Is that necessary? Probably not. Would the professionals do it? Probably not. But I think we need like every bit of help we can get to get the the top of the stem wall level and square and plumb. So we're gonna make this thing as perfect as we can before we start framing up our stem wall or forming up our stem wall. Check out all the lumber we got. Bam, baby. I need to go grab some earplugs for myself and also I need to stand back a little bit because that thing was like flinging cement at me. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to put some gloves on too, man. That thing, that thing's pretty wicked, man. Check out just that little tiny bit of grinding. Bam, dude. Took that right down. It's awesome. Awesome tool. Link down in the description below where you can pick one up for yourself if you need one. Yeah, you definitely want some eye, ear, and hand protection because that thing flings little rocks like bullets at you. Hey, Tux. What's up, buddy? Huh? You got your earplugs right there? Hmm? You been wearing... It's like, man, get that camera out of my face. So, pretty awesome tool. Grinds down that cement super fast. Sorry, I'm probably yelling again. Yeah, it is really cool. If we were going to be doing any more of it, though, I would definitely want some kind of a face mask or bandana <laughs> because it kicks up a big cloud of nasty particles of cement. For this temporary job, it was fine. But any more, I definitely would want to go grab something. That's a lot of dust, ma'am. And we don't have much of a wind today. So it was like, just like sitting all around us. <laughs> Check out how it did, huh? Woo, super smooth. It's awesome. I think we got all the high spots ground down. Now it's time to start setting up the forms, I think. What do you think? Did Tuck say good morning? Tuck said good morning. And then he said, get the camera out of my face, man. <laughs> Are you not a camera dog? <laughs> why Sarah kiss, why do we kiss puppy? <laughs> Because I love him. That's why. Look how dirty he is. He gets me filthy every day. This is from him. Yeah, that's from his paws. <laughs> dirty little dog. That's because we're living in a dust bowl. The good thing about this is that it just wipes right off. I mean, look, watch, do my shirt. Gone. It comes off pretty clean. <laughs> so Better than mud. Good. Yeah, it's definitely better than mud. <sighs> nice and cool today. So you guys may not be aware of this, but a lot of what we're doing, we're figuring out as we go, right? And so it causes a lot of delays trying to figure it out when you've never done something before. I mean, maybe you've done something like it, but you've never done that particular thing. And so it takes time. New saw blade works amazing. Hi, Jules. Yes, it's very much more efficient and quiet. Yes. It cuts really smoothly. Making steaks. This is our pattern here. That's what we want, huh? That's what we want. Cool. I think it'll go in nicely. Nice. So we're putting up our forms like this. They're going to be connected in the middle here, at least on the short side of the house. This is 24 feet. We've got it right on the X on both sides. And so what I'm envisioning is... A stake out here, two feet away from the board, a stake out here, and then a horizontal support that's attached here um, to hold it so that it can't come out this way. And then a vertical support coming up that'll tie 
four two by tens together and then a diagonal support that'll come back down to the stake basically making a triangle this will be four high with a triangle support and a horizontal support that's what i'm envisioning we'll see how it turns out i think it'll work out what do you think yeah we just want to make it strong enough that when we pour all of that cement in it's not going to like either bulge out that way because the wall's like this so we're filling it with a bunch we don't want it to collapse this way or push the bottom out as well so we're gonna do our best to make sure that they stay in position. Wow, beautiful, dude. Nice. That came out nicer than my cut. <laughs> what is it, buddy? What is it? We got something out here screaming. Sounds like a deer, like a baby deer, maybe calling for its mom. Screaming like a goat. Kinda sounded like a goat. Where is it? Go get it. It's loud out here, though. Can you go down there? Uh, I mean, I'm sure it's gone. Especially if the tuck starts barking at it. Oh. Where is it, dude? It sounded close. Jones already? In the meantime, check out the ants. <laughs> well, it's probably gone. <laughs> but it would have been cool to see and show you. He's like so proud of himself. I know. It's like, man. I found something. Did you guys hear that? We heard it, dude. We heard you more, though. Okay, there's something in the woods. It's breaking branches. I heard it. Where is it? I don't know, but there's something out there. Did you hear it breaking the branches? You'd think a deer would be quieter than that. We're down a little ways away from our building site now. Kind of like where the noise sounded like it came from. Waiting for Tux to get here. Jules was holding him back. Where is it, buddy? If it went back in there, it's definitely gone. <laughs> Maybe Bigfoot? <laughs> Maybe a nosy neighbor? Maybe a deer? Probably a deer. Like a deer, the cry sounded like a baby deer. Yeah. Well, it really sounded like a goat. <laughs> Do baby deer sound like goats when they're crying for their mama? There's something though. I mean, look at him go. He's on the hunt. Maybe this is what he does when he goes off on his adventures by himself. Maybe he just sniffs around. Did you find it, huh? Did you find it? Hmm. It's right here. That looks like a deer print. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kind of looks like a. Right here, too. Kind of a hoof. Right oh, there. Yeah. Oh, so maybe there was deer in here. There's a deer in here. Good Tux. job, Tux. Good job. Just don't scare them off during hunting season. <laughs> the nights in the mornings are beautifully cool. The daytime, mm, it's pretty warm. Right? Especially when you're working right out in the sun, right? If we work in the shade, it wouldn't be nearly as bad. But what are you going to do when you're building a house? Huh? You got to work in the sun. Jules is cutting up her supports. What's up, buddy? Um, yeah, it can be in the way. Just hook it in here. Hook that around it. Okay. So she's cutting our super steaks right now. Let me show you what those are going for here. Check it out. We got our first form wall up. This is the support for it. So she's cutting this steak right here. But right, we're putting them together with these two by sixes that we use for, um, we use for our forms for our footer. And so we're putting them together with that. Then we've got a horizontal support along the bottom that holds it in place right there on that X. Then we've got the vertical support that holds it plumb. we got three of them going down. The master craftsman, craftswoman. All right, so then we've got, um, we've got these right here coming through the middle and we're gonna use these to actually hold them together in the middle so that they don't wanna bow out in the middle. If you look on this side right here, we've got a nail. So basically we'll pull this through the nail will go up tight against there. So we'll pull this side through the form, the inside form here. We'll put another nail and we'll twist it up tight. Then that will hold the form together, right? They'll be inside supports. Just like these ones right here. On the inside. But in between those supports, we're going to use the, the wire, the tie wire, and um, nails to actually sandwich it together and hold it so it doesn't want to bow out the wood. We're working on this side now.
second wall is done. The first wall took us like almost six hours to do because we had to plan it and figure out what we're trying to do, right? This one, less than three hours and it's done. It's beautiful, guys. Look at that. And stable. Look at that. It's good. It's good. We're going to start on this one now. Work our way down this way. And we have two and a half hours left before we got to get ready to go and pick up Sarah and Seth at the airport in Spokane. They are coming back from Tennessee. They were at Bible camp there for two weeks. And so, um, yeah, we're going to go get them as soon as we hopefully finish this third wall right here. Well, guys, we got this one done here probably in about two hours. Take a look here. It's looking good. Everything we checked is level the whole way around. In our next video, we're gonna go ahead and continue on with this project right here. If you'd like to see more about what's going on in our homestead, we've got a video right over there just for you. If you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and click my face down there. Make sure you click the bell so that you get notifications when we go live or upload a new video. Hope you guys have a really great day. Keep smiling, and I'll see you right over there in that video in just a second. <laughs>